Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. This is about as big a fight as we can put together. I mean, we have seen this on more than one occasion, and I gotta be honest, I am still as excited as the first time they set foot on the dais for a press conference. This is a big fight. It will always be a big fight. I can't wait to get started. Perhaps we get a little bit of a feeling out process here early. We no, saw. these boys hate each other. They just want to fight. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start. Found a home for that left hand. I mean, and it's powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang. He drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Oh, nice. Nice. Just over three minutes here to go round one. Nice kick landed there by McGregor. Great block there. The right hand just misses. And that one certainly found the target. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Good kicks there by McGregor. So 42 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I'm well, not sure if I saw a stop and slap in here, but it has been punches and bunches from Nathan Diaz tonight. As it always is, right? Nate is a guy that is going to overwhelm you with volume. And tonight, he's starting to enter. Oh, you oh. oh, this one could be over soon. Back to his feet. 15 seconds. Oh, and he caught the kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Diaz's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Round two now is upon us. Conor McGregor versus Nate Ready. Diaz. Good. Caught that kick there. All right, so there's that Nate Diaz left hand. You've talked about the sneaky power. That one looked pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's throwing it hard, but he's so accurate that when he lands, he can hurt. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, uppercut. Oh! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Hurt him again. Oh, heavy shots continue to weigh down. Big knee to the body! Man, the body 
body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, Nate Diaz pinpoint with the accuracy tonight as he lands yet again there on the floor. You think about volume when you think about Nate Diaz, but he's also very accurate, so it's just a game that he decides to play when it's your turn to fight. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? He a lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move down. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back in. Nice sub attempt. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Under two minutes now in round two. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to the well, you've got to admire the effort. He's still striking, he's still landing, but the gas tank is basically on empty. Let's see if he can preserve it here moving forward. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you drew it up to it. No, I, you know, watch these two fight in preparation. You don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is chasing takedowns, but he must have seen something in his opponent that is allowing him to get this type of success on the feet. He looks like he is evolving as a fighter, and that is very good for him and his team to see. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, a huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Good. round underway. Oh! He's hurt bad. Oh! With authority, the body. Big right hand lands. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Good knee. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you... Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're getting... Oh. Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, man, the blood is...
is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he is. Oh, oh. Oh, big left hook there. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut. Oh! Ninety seconds to go in the fight. McGregor's hook shot is dropped. Saw that coming from a mile away. Diaz is bleeding heavily. Oh! Oh! Huge left! Straight punch. Oh, nice. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Back to his feet. And now he lands a combination. Right hand. Oh. Oh, yeah. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Oh! Oh, another knockdown! Oh! Uh, I mean, how about that back and forth action throughout the final minute? What a fight as we go the full fifteen. What a close fight, man. This is crazy. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Nate... Diaz! All right, so one of the biggest superstars on this roster, top to bottom, Nathan Diaz getting his hand raised tonight and still showing you, DC, several years into this.